Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We have episode 3 of my Japanese series here today. We're going to be declaring war upon North Korea and uniting the Korean Peninsula. Under Japanese control, not under Korean control. <laughs> but anyway, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're currently in July 2003. We've taken the South. Thankfully, we didn't get into a war with the States, who were guaranteeing them, but did back down. However, once we start making plans and preparations to just uh, justify against the North, China is... Uh, guaranteeing them so we might be at war with the Chinese here today or we're just going to be doing the North Korean operation so a lot of stuff to look forward to so the economy is now booming we nearly are fully on a total war economy we have 72 military factories we've managed to gain nearly a million in manpower thanks to the Koreans coming well on board we also want to upgrade the defense companies in Japan the Japanese Defense Force is currently in control, the army, and uh, things are looking good for Japan. Okay, let's do a slight tax cut there, and we've got a little bit of public discontent and instability. So we're going to buff up the local police force in Korea. Okay. Kuwait has pr uh, approved our proposal, really? They're going to give us oil, which is interesting. Okay, so let's justify against them, and we'll try and conquer them. Uh, 240 days before that's complete, because the Americans have managed to be successful in Iraq and Afghanistan, so now I guess we're trading with the uh, Kuwaitis. No, cool. Nice. Oh, we've actually got a new faction leader, for whatever reason. We've got a Japanese Grand Admiral. I guess the army's influence waned in the JSDF, the Japanese Self-Defense Force, and now the Admiral's now in charge, or he's retired. So at the moment, we need to restock our fuel silos. We have a capacity now of 4 million, which is fantastic. It was about 2 million before, early in the campaign. And we're going to try and get as much oil as we can uh, we'll try and get it from Canada, the United States, and Saudi Arabia, and from the Ruskies as well. And we're actually buffing up our capacity because there was a couple of stages here and there where we ran out of fuel in the Korean conflict. Oh, here we go. Chinese jets have been scrambled. Oh, oh we actually can get a war deck. They actually fired upon us. Oh, fuck. Although I kind of want to stand up to them, I don't want to have a war against them just yet. I'm not ready. I'd rather go against them in Korea. Okay, the justification has been complete. There's a bunch of units on the border. And there's a potential enemy of them joining in. So here we go, boys. The battle between the Japanese and North Korea is about to begin. Now, compared to the South Koreans, our air force should be not roughly on par. But we should be able to smash theirs. Our... Navy as well. They're probably bringing out fucking boys on <laughs> fishing boats. And the army does have the numbers. But I don't think their divisions have the essentially the strength compared to ours. So we just need to split up some fighters. Now most of our air wings can operate from the mainland of Japan and fly on over. Now, we are gonna, it's going to be a little bit difficult pushing over the DMZ because it is very fortified. Oh, and they've called them in. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the second, or is it third, <laughs> Sino-Japanese War, or Sino, is about to begin. Japan is now at war with China and North Korea. But so far, we've actually successfully pushed over the DMZ. But look how many divisions they are. Oh my god, hang on. This is a huge development. So the Republic of China, Taiwan, the government in Taipei, want us to join a faction. <laughs> the Chinese, the China encirclement faction. Oh, dude, and they've already made a landing here as well. Well, it's very rare to have factions pop up like that. Dude. Huh. 
And they've landed as well. We'll call in our allies. So, oh, I kind of wanted to conquer Taiwan and bring it under Japanese control once again, but... Mm, especially having them control the faction, we might be able to take over it. I still think it's good to accept because it's so hard to become a faction in uh, the Millennium Dawn mod. It took us until the end of the Australian series before we could um, even finish the National Focus Tree and get it. I don't think we were even able to form our own individual faction. But here we go. So far, we've managed to knock out 300k North Koreans, and we're about to surround and conquer their capital in Pyongyang. But we are really gaining ground. We need a bunch of fucking oil. And I guess we get it from the Ruskies. Because they're quite close to us. They do have the province and shipping lanes in sort of that uh, Vlad of Lad, uh, Vlad of Ladstock, um, is it Vlada? Or, yeah, Vlad of Ladstock, or whatever region <laughs> to the north. Hey, and they capitulated. Now we could pop at them. Um, but sendings we've taken the south. I think we just bring it completely under our control. Nice. Okay, so there's a little bit of skirmish with the Chinese over the border, but we just need to essentially... Oh, God. I guess we just keep on going. We've got the momentum. 2,000. I honestly didn't think we'd be at war with China here today. There was always a chance, like I mentioned, but seeing the Americans back down when we took the south, I would imagine the Chinese would as well. But so far... Um, Taiwan is uh, gaining some territory, so we might actually have to divide it between two, three kingdoms. I think we'll, if we're successful, liberate um, East Turkmenistan and the Uyghurs and Tibet as well. And then I guess we'll, I do want to try and take as much of China as I can under Japanese control. And... I will have to, if they take a decent amount of territory, the government in Taiwan, um, we're going to have to give them a large amount of the south. Oh, but they're actually distracting a lot of divisions down there. Holy shit, okay. And you'd imagine the, um, the states are probably backing us as well. So, they are slowly bringing units in, but there's a lot of spare ground here. We do still have air supremacy over the peninsula, so let's try and move it into the old Manchukuo region. Now, they do... Okay, so we probably... They probably as an individual faction have more divisions than us, but us allied with Taiwan, um, we're probably on par. God, we need to get this fuel in quick, fast. Navy-wise, we've probably got a... We've actually probably got a larger navy than them. To be fair. Like, they haven't hit their... 2030. Obviously, naval capacity. Looks like Taiwan has sent some... Units to help us out. And we are really spreading them. They just can't seem to get organized. So we're taking a lot of territory now. In northern China. Nice. Things are looking good. We're going to try and install the um, state secrecy bill. But we're doing well. It does look like um, Iran is actually sending volunteers to them. We just need to get this bloody fuel on check because we're. this is what's going to make us take mass casualties and really stop our push if we're not careful. Yeah, I don't know why we can't get any more from the Ruskies now. I guess getting them from the States, Canada. Because it does... It's The thing is, getting fuel from the Middle East, they just have to, it just takes a long while to get here. And they probably have to go through the... The um, Chinese Sea and sort of the Chinese state, uh, Strait. However, if we get it from Canada and... The US, the fuel can probably pass quite safely through the east coast of Japan. Okay, let's just move our air wing slightly, but we're looking good so far. Our fuel is our major issue. However, we're currently hemorrhaging in political power. We've still got a bunch of debt. Pakistan and the Iranians and the Persians seem to be helping them. 
But I think we've just got the momentum. Oh, here we go. We've had a mass naval fight. Unfortunately, a Taiwanese ship was sunk. But seven... CCP... Ships were sunk. That's fantastic. We've got some more divisions coming as well. So let's send them up here where we can. And... Maybe try and go this way. Yeah, I just don't think they're getting organized. That's what's going on. Oh, we seem to have air supremacy down in the south. Brilliant. And we need to get more of this goddamn fuel. <laughs> Dude, we ran through it so quickly. I had enough fuel reserves for the invasion of North Korea. Just that short war. Not a... A long extended one. We just need to be on point about it. <laughs> Honestly, we might be better off to dump some of these extra resources coming in. Because we just need that fuel. Because we want to... We want to... Like, I don't want to be going back and forth. Right? Getting the air wings activated for like three weeks and then off for a week. And having the navy operate for three weeks then off and then rotate. I want to get to a point where... We are importing more than what we're consuming to have a constant flow and supply. Which is still not met yet. So, and I also don't want to limit our civilian construction. Come on. Looks like Turkey wants to send us some logistics. That's awesome. Air supremacy over the top. It's just the fuel problem. We are still taking a lot of territory. Bro, we're looking good. Unfortunately, some of those convoys have been intercepted. Yeah, I just don't think they uh, just seem to form up. Look at this. We've just got them on the back foot. Every time they go try to go forward, they keep on going two steps back, which is brilliant. And if we can capture and surround a bunch of them in northern China... That would be fantastic. Looks like the US wants to invest in Japan still. Hell yeah, brother. Um, like... Okay, so finally, dude. 365 oil. I guess it was like struggling to come from the States. We're better off importing it from Russia. Holy shit. Alright, things are looking good. Oh, dude, we've somehow managed to squish them between Mongolia and the north. Oh my god. Okay, so let's redirect some of the air force now. Took us a little while to get our fuel capacity on point. But it looks like the new reign under the Admiral is doing alright. 200k, oh my god. But so far, we're doing most of the work in northern China. So then we're going to be able to have the claim for the territory there. Oh, dude. We're gobbling so well up this territory. Keep on keeping on. Oh, unfortunately, those Taipei forces down in the south are um, getting encircled. Okay, let's just uh, try and upgrade where we can. This is always annoying for me. I found a <laughs> fucking... Trying to upgrade and research when you're in an active war. I wish you could queue things up a little bit. To be fair to the Chinese Navy, they are doing quite well in disrupting any convoys trying to come on in. But we have just been so, so successful in surrounding and crushing units here. Holy shit. Uh, I guess we just, like, force past the bill. Unfortunately, Western Outlook and Emerging has grown a little bit. Um, we want to go down the right-hand side of this because we want to try and repeal as many of the pacifism stuff as we can. And firmly enshrine the army 
as in charge of Japan. As we're still trying to continue on our main objective of this series of bringing back the Empire of the Rising Sun. We want to try and get back Japan's imperial territories at a tight. So, a lot of China. We've still got a lot of wars down in the... Um, Southeast Asia region to come. And I wouldn't actually mind extending it just a little bit further. I think it would be uh, funny to bring Australia in under Japanese control <laughs> as an Australian myself. Because they could have done it, but they fucking nearly didn't. They uh, bombed Darwin, sent submarines and stuff in and around to have a sneaky peek. But they were too preoccupied. Couldn't properly hold Manchuko, let alone fucking Victoria. <laughs> anyway, um, we've managed to take half, them. I, half of the country. I don't know if I like the name of the China Encirclement Faction. I wonder if I can change that. But to be fair, we might be able to now invite a bunch of factions in. Which is awesome. Oh, dude, that's so, so fortunate. Yeah, it must be a thing that if um, Japan in the Millennium Dawn mod attacks Ty uh, J China early, Taiwan can create a faction with them. Okay, so our fuel is really fine at the moment. And it's only southern Ch China that's uh, yet to capitulate. Dude. I don't think they were expecting, like, a full-on charge from the peninsula. Oh my god, it's ballooned to 300k. We have lost less in this war than in the South Korean push. Just because they were, like, prepared through those naval invasions. So they, they kind of knew we were coming, the South Koreans, planting mines and building on up. So they've lost 40k, we've lost 17k. So it's a bit, but nothing too crazy. Oh, dude. We've nearly... Liberated um, Western uh, Xinjiang, which is perfect, and we're about to crush a bunch of Persians up in the north. Oh, yeah, why are they? Why is Iran helping them? Kind of weird. Sending a lot of military forces as well. Okay. Oh, dude. To be fair, 2004 is a pretty early war for them. Hey, and they've capitulated. Oh my god. Fan bloody tastic. This could have been the US if they didn't back down. Um in South Korea. So, firstly, let's take what I want. So, we'll try and can get as much of the north as I want cuz I want it directly under my control. Now, normally I would take all of China. However, Taiwan really helped us out in this one, so we've got to help them. Um, oh, no, we don't want to liberate that, because that will give them all of it. We want to satellite the East Turkic peoples. And Tibet as well. Nice. That's what I want to do. And then we'll make things look a little bit nicer here, giving this to me, like just to even it up. Now, this is the difficult one. Hmm. They are my ally, not my puppet. The Republic of China. So, I do want to try and greedily take as much of this territory for Japan as I can. But I also will need to give them some. But to be fair, they were more of a distracting force. Like, if they took all of the south, I could have given them more. They just lost a lot. However, they did sort of... Delay, distract, and divide the Chinese army in half while we smash them in the north. So would we have been able to have those crazy territorial gains? Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, let's um, give them like Fujian and sort of this bottom bit. Just to see how that looks. Because they're right on the coast. Nice. So they will be rewarded. I kind of want Hong Kong for myself. Because Hong Kong's such a fantastic piece of territory, even though it's a little enclave, but hey. Um, let's bring that under direct Japanese control. Because countries like Singapore, Macau, and like Hong Kong, 
they are worth so so much even on that small territory so should I give them that yep we'll give them another Chinese province province prefecture what, what is what are they so I guess it's all gonna be prefectures now and I think I want the rest so we'll give them a little bit of territory but at the end of the day we're playing as Japan they're not my subjects and my allies and we're gonna try and shaft them Look, we could even betray them if we fucking want. I think I'll take this for myself. Bit greedy, but fuck it. Alright, let's uh, end that there. Five states, 31 taken for me. I reckon we did 75% of the work. I think that's fair. But this is what we own as the Japanese. Hell yeah, my political power is shocking. China Encirclement Network. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could change the the name of that, I guess. But anyway. Nice. Dude, what a hell of an episode. That's massive. Well, now... So they're nationalist outlook. The Chinese Youth Party. Okay. We could leave the faction if we want. Can we somehow take control? Because we want to be able to invite countries in. No, I don't know if we can. Maybe it was just RNG of the fact that they went nationalist. I don't fucking know. I love how gun ho they were to um, help out. Right, let's uh, stop importing all this petroleum because we don't need to. Because we're naturally going to get it back now that our navy and air force are not burning heaps. And we'll make plans and preparations to continue our conquests down into Vietnam and Thailand, I suppose. Which, I might puppet one of them. Maybe Vietnam, make them the dominant power down there. I definitely want most of Indonesia directly under my control. Uh, I've got to deal with the Philippines as well. And although the Ruskies have helped us, we probably have a claim to some of their northern border territory, potentially. Just need to reorganize some of our trade because we don't want to be getting resources from countries we're probably going to go to war with soon. But hey, massive episode here. China and North Korea kaput. Fully under our control. Holy shit. That is some crazy territorial gains. And we're a faction as well. So hopefully we can make this faction here in Southeast, or not South, just East Asia. Now the predominant power over here. Hopefully we can rival other factions like NATO and um, CSTO as well. And we'll try and grow incorporating more nations where we can. Now, oh god, we need to definitely quell some of the uprisings and public discontent in those occupied regions. Yeah, so I can't rename the faction here. No, that's a shame. I think there's a mod. You can change the color and stuff. We've got a bunch of territory we need to repair then factories. We might even stop some of this because we've got 160 factories now. We've actually, like, doubled. <laughs> even more. What do we have? Like, 70 or so? Oh, jeez, yeah. We have, like, 80 more factories. We're probably better off converting some of them to military in the end. But anyway, unfortunately, on that note, I've got to end today's video here. Thank you very much for watching episode 3 of the Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Imperial Japanese series. Stay tuned for episode 4 coming out the exact same time tomorrow where we continue on to rebuild Imperial Japan. Leave another comments. We like me to expand and conquer. Now that we're a faction, we might be able to rival CSTO and maybe even go after the Ruskies. Like, we're going to have enough strength. We could, um become a global superpower in this series because we're doing really really well 
now that we've got China and Korea under our control. The world is our oyster. We need to hold on to the territory that we've got and continue to claim more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Episode 4 coming out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.